Hello and welcome to another review by Driven Automotive Consulting. Today I have a Citroen C3 and I'm very excited to show it to you. But before we go any further, if you are interested in a new vehicle, Driven Automotive Consulting can help you find the best deal. Our services are free of charge and we give you a small gift upon collection of your new vehicle. Check us out at www.drivenautoza.com. But for now, back to the video. The model you see on your screen right now is a 2022 Citroen C3 1.2 litre feel and it is currently available at West Val Secunda. If you are in the market of a new Citroen Opel Peugeot, Hyundai Isuzu or Jeep, check out West Val Secunda and ask for Sandile. The first thing you notice about this car's design is its use of many shapes. For example, the front has these oval shaped LED daytime running lights and these trapezoidal lights under them. Everything on the front end of this car complements the arrows of the Citroen logo. Down the side, you have this oval shaped dip on the feel model. On the shine model, this would be occupied with some air bumps. Across the bottom of the car, you'll find some black plastic moldings which protect the car and add a bit of flair to the overall design. One nice touch on this vehicle has to be the black top and the black mirror caps. They look good, especially in contrast to the spring blue paintwork. Overall, this car is a very quirky design and it should appeal to people who want something different. So what are your thoughts on the design of the Citroen C3? Would you opt for its bold look or would you go for something more understated like the Opel Corsa? Let me know in the comment section below and while you're at it, please like, share and subscribe. Do all of those YouTube things, I really do appreciate it. On the inside of this car, the quirkiness continues. You have a big dashboard with a mixture of shapes and materials like this slab of piano finish. In front of you as a driver, you have a multifunction steering wheel and behind it you have an instrument cluster with a screen which tells you all your information on this car such as your average speed, fuel consumption and speed limit info. To your right, you have some expensive feeling materials for opening and closing your door. This is great because you'll be interacting with these bits every time you drive this vehicle. And to your left, you have this black and white minimalist infotainment system. All you get on it is a volume knob, a power button and a USB slot. That's it. Anything else that you may need is accessible by using the touch screen. The system works well but my biggest problem with it is that it doesn't come with cell phone integration like Android Auto or Apple CarPlay on this model. This is a big deal for me because I like using ways to navigate. But if you only need to use this system to connect to your phone to play music and to make phone calls, it works very well. Considering that this is the base pack of the C3, it comes with some great features such as cruise control and lane keep alert. This makes for more relaxed trips for long distance driving. If I am being picky, I'd want to see more storage space and an armrest in here. I would also want the electric windows to be auto down, if for no one else, at least for the driver. Moving to the back and it is pretty roomy in here. You have enough leg room and knee room and headroom won't be a problem for adults. Now if you want creature comforts, in here you'll find very few. You only have one cup holder, but that's where it ends. There are no armrests, no charging ports and not even a single 12 volt charging socket. There are no air vents for the rear passengers and if you want any kind of ventilation, you have to wind down your windows. The only consolation I can offer is that the rear seats are soft so they should be comfortable for daily commutes. Moving to the boot and this vehicle offers 300 liters of cargo space. You also have a light in the boot making it easy to see any hidden goods. These buttons over here make it easy to drop the seat bags to get a total of 900 liters of boot space. Because it is squared off, the boot ends up being more practical than you would think. Now under the boot I did not find a spare tire let alone a space saver. I did however find a tire repair kit. This is weird for me especially because there is space for a spare tire in here. Under the hood of this feel model you will find a 1.2 litre 3 cylinder naturally aspirated petrol engine putting out 60 kilowatts of power and 118 newton meters of torque. 0 to 100 is completed in 13.2 seconds and it goes on to a top speed of 169 kilometers per hour. Now this car is not fast by any stretch of imagination but it is an economical vehicle. So economical in fact that I managed to match and beat the claimed fuel consumption figure of 5.7 liters per 100 kilometers. Out on the open road, this vehicle makes a very strong case for itself. It is an unhurried vehicle which is super smooth and comfortable for city driving. One thing I really appreciate about this car, even though it's the most basic spec, is that it comes with six airbags as standard. Some cars in this segment only get that with their top of the range variants. On the highway, it also manages to stay quiet even though it keeps its revs at around 3500 RPMs. I can't help but wonder what the extra power in the 1.2 litre turbo models can do for this car in terms of overtaking. So, what's the damage? For this C3 1.2 litre fuel as tested, expect to pay around 306,000 rand. If you finance that over 72 months with no deposit and no balloon payments at an interest rate of 11.25%, your monthly installments should come up to around 5,900 per month. Add two full tanks of petrol and that should come up to around 7,900 rand per month. 
When you purchase a new Citroen C3, it comes standard with a 3-year, 60,000 km service plan and a 5-year manufacturer's warranty. So, what are my final thoughts on the Citroen C3? Well, it does a great job of standing out in a competitive segment. It offers great safety features in its most basic spec, but if you must buy one, opt for the turbocharged Shine model as it looks better and should perform much better on the highway. Also consider waiting for the next C3 as that will have SUV styling and will come out at a more competitive price point. If you enjoyed this one, please give it a like and if you want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. But guys, thank you very much for watching this review. Until the next one, take care and stay driven.